a comprehensive look at trends, fund profiles, and more in exploring ETFs. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Exploring ETFs. I'm Nina Mishra, and today we are talking about genomics ETFs. Now, uh, healthcare ETFs, biotech ETFs in particular, have done pretty well this year, particularly over the past few weeks, uh, because many of these companies are working on testing vaccines and treatments for the coronavirus. Uh, so those companies have, uh, they have gotten a lot of uh, investor interest this year, and many of them have seen their share prices surge. And uh, President Trump's uh, COVID diagnosis also boosted some of uh, these stocks because uh, uh, some therapeutics uh, like uh, Gilead Sciences Remdesivir, Regeneron's experimental antibody cocktail treatment, which is not available to general public, not yet approved by the FDA, I should add. And uh, steroid dexamethasone, they were uh, given to President Trump, and it seemed that uh, those uh, therapeutics worked um, in treating his uh, COVID. So that is why there was a lot of interest in those companies. And then rising probability of a Biden victory has also boosted biotech uh, because his administration is expected to uh, spend more on testing and tracing and other developing the therapeutics for uh, the coronavirus. And genomics ETFs, stocks and ETFs in particular, uh, surged uh, recently uh, because two women scientists, French Emmanuel Charpentier, I hope I'm pronouncing her name correctly, and American Jennifer Dutta, they shared the Nobel Prize in uh, Chemistry for their pioneer work in developing the CRISPR gene editing technology. Now, this gene editing technology, CRISPR, it's a revolutionary gene editing uh, technology. It is pretty cheap too, and it potentially it could empower human beings to control their own genome. So it has limitless potential. Uh, we know that uh, COVID impacts people very differently depending on their genes. So it it could probably be used for developing personalized treatment for COVID. Scientists are already working on personalized treatments for cancer. They're also trying to use this technology in finding cures for other diseases like blindness and Alzheimer's, sorry, disease. So obviously limitless potential for this technology and genomics and gene editing in particular. So I had discussed biotech ETFs, uh, including uh, the most popular biotech ETFs like IPB and XPI, uh, in a video a few weeks back. In this video, we are focusing on genomics ETFs, as I mentioned. So let's take a look at genomics ETFs. And uh, one of them has been uh, has delivered phenomenal performance this year. It is one of the top performing ETFs of the year. So let's take a look at these ETFs. So the first one we are talking about is by ARC, and it is one of the top performing ETFs this year. It is the ARC Genomic Revolution ETF, ticker symbol ARKG, up more than 120% this year. It's an actively managed ETF that holds genomics companies, as the name suggests. Uh, it charges 75 basis points, and it's very popular with investors, mainly because of its excellent performance, and it has gathered 2.8 billion in assets this year. Uh, so let's take a look at this ETF by going to the code page on zax.com, and you can read our articles. Uh, you can use the link to go to the ARC web page for this ETF and learn more about this ETF, you will see that it holds companies which are working on these areas, CRISPR, targeted therapeutics, bioinformatics, molecular diagnostics, stem cells, and agricultural biology. All these areas have 
immense growth potential. And that is one of the reasons why the CTF has done very well this year. And if you look at the top holdings, uh, some of the uh, companies that are doing pioneer work, pioneering work in this area, these are among the top holdings in the ETF. And Vite, CRISPR Therapeutics, in fact, this company has been co-founded by uh, one of the winners of Nobel, Professor Emmanuel Charpentier. Uh, Professor Dudna has also co-founded a number of CRISPR and gene editing related companies. So uh, look at the top, top holdings. These are some of the best performing companies in this area. Then the second one that we are talking about is by iShares. It is called the iShares Genomics Immunology and Healthcare ETF, ticker symbol IDNA. It's a, it's a market cap weighted ETF of 47 genomics firms. Uh, it has about 161 million in assets. Let's take a look at this ETF by going to the code page on sax.com again charges 47 basis points. And you can use the link to go to BlackRock's iShares webpage for the CTF and learn more about the CTF, the details. Uh, uh, as the name suggests, it holds companies that are at the forefront of genomics and immunology innovation. Looking at the top holdings, uh, you will see many similar holdings, Mirati Therapeutics, and Vite, Seijin, Genmap, Mark, Moderna. Moderna is, you know, working on uh, COVID vaccine, and it is one of the companies uh, whose vaccine is in the phase three trial, and it may come out. It may be approved sometime later this year, though it would be available. <laughs> Sorry, to the general public, only sometime uh, next year. The third EDF that I want to talk about is by GlobalX. It's GlobalX Genomics and Biotechnology ETF, ticker symbol GNOM Genome. This is also a market cap weighted ETF of 40 genomics firms. It charges 50 basis points and it is slight, slightly smaller than the iShares product. It has 66 million in assets. Uh, again, to take a look at this ETF, you can go to the code page on zax.com. You can read our research report article, go to the external homepage, the GlobalX webpage for the CTF and learn more about the CTF. And uh, as the name suggests, it holds companies that are involved in gene editing, genomic sequencing, genetic medicine, uh, those kind of uh, you know, uh, treatments. And uh, you can also look at the top holdings and Vite is the top holding again, and CRISPR is also one of the top holdings that I mentioned. CRISPR that, that I mentioned earlier, co-founded by Professor Charpentier, uh, and other companies also which are doing pioneering work in this area or other genomics-related fields. Now, on the last two slides. I have the comparative performance of these ETFs versus the S&P 500 index. And uh, our product has significantly beaten not only genomics and biotech ETFs, but all other ETFs. It is up more than 120%, as I mentioned. Uh, the our shares product is up about 40%. Uh, the Global X product is up about 30% this year. And uh, on the next slide, I have the, the comparative performance in the past few weeks, which I mentioned that they have done very well in the past few weeks. So you will see that uh, uh, the our product is up about 28% uh, over the past month. Uh, the Global X product is up more than 20%. And the iShares and the broader biotech ETF, IBB, uh, the most popular biotech ETFs, they have also significantly outperformed the S&P 500 index over the past month. Thanks for watching. 
make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on any videos. And also make sure to check out zax.com slash promo for an interesting offer. And I'll see you next week.